Dude, I'm so excited for my Vida Supressa. Oh, I know, me too. My name's Shani, I'm 15, and I'm super excited about my quinceanera because I've been dreaming about this forever. It's finally happening. <laughs> quinceanera, it's always been a tradition. My mom's from Guatemala, and my dad's from Salvador. My cousin had a quinceanera, and my sister had one also, so it's a tradition to have one. Shani is so happy. <laughs> she always busy. She like dancing, running, singing. She's so loud. I want to vlog right now because I've been okay. trying to like vlog daily. Okay. So can I like vlog us chilling? Yeah. Okay. I was originally born in Los Angeles. My parents moved to Arkansas when I was seven. I started making YouTube videos in Arkansas because I was I didn't have any friends and I was bored in my room. Hey guys, it's Shani. I make lifestyle videos on YouTube and they range from like DIYs for your room, beauty videos, singing. I always watch it. I always watch it. And I tell everybody to watch her videos. I did get inspired by like Bethany Moda and My Life as Ava, Makeup by Mandy. Ooh, they're so good at making videos. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Chloe yeah. in my bedroom. <laughs> Me and Shani are super close. I like to call her my sister. Today we're going to do the cousin tag. Now, I don't know what that is, but Chloe knows what it is, so let's start it off. Okay. For Shani's fifth team, I'm actually really excited because I'm in her surprise <laughs> dance. It's just really exciting. My baile sopresa is what I've been waiting for. This is the main reason I want to do my quinceanera. I've been dreaming about having my baile sopresa since I was like five. And I'd always make like little dance routines in my room, like, Oh, I'm gonna do this for my quinceanera. Oh, this is gonna happen for my quinceanera. It's a big part in my quinceanera because my sister and my cousin would not let me be in the Valle Sopresa when I was a younger kid. But she was so little, she was like five, six years old. She said, well, I'll wait for my quinceanera and you see, you guys. <laughs> I was watching a TV show and the theme of the show was Alice in Wonderland. So I thought it was perfect for my quinceanera. I was obsessed with all the cool colors and her dress because I didn't want like a princess. I wanted Alice in Wonderland. It's different than anything else. And that's what I am. I'm different, I'm outgoing, I'm out there, so. She wants Alice in Wonderland. I don't know exactly why. Do you see the movie, the little girl? All the people, they're mean with her, you know? She feels maybe the same. We moved to Los Angeles to be with my family because we lived so far away. We'd only see them like once a year. And then I started a new school. And I thought it was gonna be like easy because it was a charter school. I thought no one was gonna bully no one. And it was hard, you know? I was getting bullied in school. And it was just really hard. And uh, yeah. those kids were so different from other kids. Like they started calling me names, started calling me fat, making fun of my appearance. They started throwing me notes, saying none, all these bad things. And it just got to my head so I wouldn't eat. I'd like always be in my room. I'd never go out. I was just really sad. I'd wake up and I'd say, I don't want to go to school. I'd pray to God that something like, I can get sick so I don't have to go to school. They ended up getting my phone number and started cyberbullying me. They'd send me long paragraphs about how I'm useless and stuff like that. And it, it just, yeah. <laughs> I was so scared because she always in the room, in the shower, in the bathroom by herself. She's not happy like before, and dancing and making noises and everything. It was so bad that I started hurting myself, and I didn't tell anyone, but people started noticing how my attitude started changing because I'm really loud and outgoing, but I wasn't loud and outgoing anymore. I was really quiet, I was always in my room. They started seeing stuff in my arms and stuff. I'm sorry. She was crying in the room, one day she was in the bathroom and she's not get out. She was, I was scared. I was, I was trying to open the door hard and Shani, Shani, what's going on with you? And she coming out and she was caught herself, you know? And I don't, I don't like that. They said I was useless. They'd sent me things that no one would ever want to hear about themselves. And I thought like, Okay, they, was, they said I should do this, so why don't I listen to them and do it? I told her I don't want to lose you because of other people who are telling you all of these things. You gotta realize that these people 
are just insecure about themselves that they're just probably jealous of you because obviously Shani is super pretty. Shani has an amazing personality. I remember telling her like, I don't want to one day wake up and you being in the hospital because you're like a sister to me. I don't want to lose that bond with you. <laughs> How you feel now, Mia? Well, this <laughs> past month, uh -huh. a lot of going on with the schools, changing schools. Kids around. I'm happier that I changed schools. Yeah, this yeah. school's better. I go to the to the principal and explain everything what happened. I was getting mad and worried because they don't do nothing. They don't call the families. They don't do nothing. That's why we put in a different school. It looks different, you know. Happy, mm -hmm. and that's what I I I'm happy too. You're happy. I'm happy. You know. <laughs> She's so hyper. She's so happy. I know that's that quinceañera is gonna make me happy too. For her. It's <laughs> crying now. If I didn't tell anyone, I probably wouldn't be here right now. I probably wouldn't be getting my quinceañera ready. Yeah, I was bullied and I was depressed, but I don't want people to feel sorry for me because. That actually helped me with like, I can connect with other people now. Like I can connect with teenagers, I can tell them, I went through this, you're not alone. Because I'm so much stronger, it's easy. I got this in the palm of my hand right now. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my show. If you want to be featured, send us a video telling us why to ginse at awesomenesstv.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.